Okay, where should I start this thing? Just gonna do a quick commentary game on some solo queue thresh. I picked this game because it pretty much was like the optimal game I've had with Thresh so far. <laughs> In terms of like starting and like how the lane plays played out and stuff, so let's just talk about my runes and masters, I guess, during the loading screen. I use one thirteen seventeen masteries on my Thresh, just because in solo queue, you're almost always going to be 2v2ing. Those are the strongest 2v2 masteries because you get minion block and champion block damage. And you still can start with all the gold and like, utility stuff. And uh, for runes, I go like... I think it's 9 AD one with 1 crit chance rune, armor, MR, and then 1 GP10 quint with uh, HP quints. And the reason why you take AD on Thresh and one crit rune is because his flay scales with AD, the added bonus damage on auto attacks, so you're going to be hitting for a lot and it scales really well. And the added RNG of sometimes critting is really powerful in lane, if you get it. So as for my item start, as you can see, that the most standard start I go on solo queue is two green wards, two pink wards, and three HP pots. You can change it up a bit by sacrificing a pink ward for an extra green ward that way you can get another hp pot and a mana pot that's if you want to like you're up against like really poke heavy lanes with the zyros and such but as you can see i'm up against an ezreal and a janna which does have poke but since i can stand behind minions i don't really have to be scared of ezreal's cues or any poke from janna so i can start two pinks here also as you notice they have an ezreal and a fiddle level one so in a perfect si in a situation where like i don't think the team is a better level one i'll almost always invade but since they have a i think a lot better level one than us i back off with my team and i just start flay and rather than hook because flay you almost always want to start flay because you can just trade easier at level one And it's also, you can help your jungler leash as well. But, um, here I tell my Jarvan to uh, go start as blue rather than red so we don't have to leash. That way, me and Caitlyn can go camp in this uh, brush in the river. Because so, a lot of people in solo queue, when they are leashing for their blue, they like to walk the lazy way, as me and Don't Mash Me say. And it's very easy to just chunk them or even get a first blood when, with them running down this way. So yeah, we're just going to wait for a bit and see if they come. And if they don't, we just immediately start pushing the lane because Caitlyn Thresh is very good at shoving and just dominating the lane. Yeah. It's a very good solo queue strat, just because people in solo queue are lazy. They won't run the safe way. But actually, in this match, they do end up do running the safe way, so... We just kind of walk back in the lane. My Caitlyn takes a cue. I'm not scared of the Ezreal here because I have a fully maxed, I mean fully charged auto attack. So I just chunk him pretty hard right there. He does have lifesteal quints, so he'll heal it up pretty quickly. So la typical lane phase like this one is I'm just standing behind minions but being close enough so that when Ezreal tries to go for an auto attack I can land an auto attack on him. I can't really go and harass Janna because typical Janna plays well she'll be behind the Ezreal and we'll just shield him when he takes her ass. When I'm sieging a turret like this I'm always going to be hovering my hook just so I can see for good opportunities to hook them while they're in the trick. Because if you hook them, when we have a huge wave pushing in like this, they will take a lot of punishment and they'll also miss a lot of creeps. And it's very hard for them to retaliate. So I'm always hovering in right here. I end up getting a hook on Ezreal, but I think he DCs right here or else he could have gotten away. But that ends up in a really good level 1 first blood for us and Ezreal loses a lot off of it. 
Maybe he lagged because he does come back immediately to lane. So, not sure what happened there. But yeah, when the other AD carry, it's just the support is back in lane, especially if the it's the wave is past the middle of the lane, you almost always want to be auto-attacking the minions and helping your AD carry shove. That way, the opposing AD carry will just miss as many minions as possible and be further, even further behind. Here I see an easy grab on Janna, so I just go for some extra harass and try and get her to back. Keep autoing minions and shoving the lane. Make them miss as much EXP and gold as possible. I still have all my pots here, so I'm still not very scared of trading, and I go for any auto attacks I can on the Ez. Typically, after this next wave, it would be a good time for us to back. But since we're so far ahead, we can just like pretty much stay indefinitely. I'm just all in here just so we can have an opportunity back. And also because we're just so strong, I can just burn his summoners. And I still have pots, so. This is a very ex extended like first, first lane because we haven't backed. And we won't be backing for a little while. But we're adding so much lane pressure that it's very hard for the Ezreal to see us. And I think our other lanes are winning, so the jungler doesn't really have time to pressure our lane. He has to go help his solos, so we're just like... It's almost a completely free lane right now. Yep, just look for hooks whenever I possibly can. You may not end up in kills, but like the pressure just is so strong that you'll just snowball your AD carry out of control because they'll just be free farming while the other one can't really do much. There, since I have an extra pink, since I didn't really have to use it in the beginning to counter any of her wars because we're shoved in so much, I'm just going to use it for vision rather than denying. Maybe I'm lucky she'll come and put a green ward there, but I doubt it since we're winning the lane so hard. Here I actually I tell my Caitlyn to back off just because we want to deny as many minions as possible. And by doing that is just leaving the turret at a low HP so that it keeps hitting the minions, but you can take the turret at any time. Flay is also a good good setup for Caitlyn's Piltover Peacemaker so that she can clear the waves easier. And yeah, this is where I start backing and Caitlyn backs too, so that we can deny as many minions as possible without taking the turret. So if I'm this far ahead, like, honestly just getting more HP and pinks and as much vision as possible will just snowball the game out of control. So I just get a couple pinks and I'm going to go try and deny vision for my mid laner and the opposing mid laner by pinking that, uh, that wraith area because it's a very highly contested spot. And it's also a good ward to see if Fiddle is coming around behind us or if the Nidalee is going to roam. It's also a place where a lot of mid laners, opposing the mid laners, like to ward, so pinking it, you'll oftentimes find a ward there. And yeah, as you can see, Janice had the same idea as me, but to ward for their mid laner, but unfortunately, I'm just so far ahead that I can just afford as many pinks as I want. Right here, we're just so strong. I can just go for an all-in whenever I want. Right here, I throw my lantern to Caitlyn so she wouldn't have to burn her flash, but she ends up doing it anyways. Otherwise, I think she pro she might have been able to get away. Here, I just try and juke everything Nidalee throws, but <laughs> I get lucky even though I and she ended up landing the spear. I'm trying to contribute as much as I can with my HP without giving them the chance of killing me. We're able to land a kill on Janna because of it. And Nidalee. Wow. Oh, actually, we get all three here, I think, without me dying. So this game is, like, so far snowballing and out of control. It's, like, it's almost just over right now. But, yeah, I just thought this was a good example of how you can easily snowball lanes and how to play against um, low poke I should say, low poke duo lanes as Caitlyn Thresh.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of brief video, but um, yeah, I'll um, probably make more of these in the future with different champions. Like, I was actually going to make it with Blitzcrank this game, but they ended up banning it, so I decided the next best thing was uh, Thresh. So yeah, expect maybe a Blitzcrank commentary in the near future.